Yeah. You must have thought we were getting going. Um, we? Most times we're getting going, it doesn't get quiet, so. We still have one minute. One minute, all right. Well. Oh, usually we would need that one minute, but. Yeah. Yeah, unless John, John, John would come storming it <laughs> right this moment. Nah, right about one more minute. But yeah. Anyways, we're going to go ahead. I'll go ahead and uh, call the meeting to order. It is the Moortown uh, Select Board here. It's Monday, October 21st, uh, 2024. We're here at the John Hogan meeting room. Unless John left us here a couple of weeks ago, but we'll always be remembering him. Um, so we're going to head and uh, just jump right into the agenda. We have general public comments. I know we have a couple people for that, and then Craig is here to continue our discussion on insurance. So why don't we go ahead and um, do it with Brian. I think you were the first person here. Um, so you had, I think Don had said you wanted to come and um, say something. So yeah. I want to go ahead. Um, I, well, I'll just say a few words. I spoke with Brian the other day at John's uh, Celebration of Life, and he um, has some interest in perhaps uh, serving on the select board, well, until March when we re-elect the election. So I suggested that he come in tonight to uh, listen to the meeting and also just introduce himself and express his interest, and here we are. And I understand there's a big excuse to fill for sure. John's a good longtime friend. Sorry to see him go, obviously. But yeah, I'm a realtor in town here. Um, I moved here uh, full-time in 2019. We've owned since 18. And um, yeah, I would like to participate in uh, the town's time that I get back. So um, here to kind of hear things out. I've seen some of the digital recordings. Mm -hmm. This is my first uh, Think Select Board meeting in person. Yep. So, yeah. Well, good. Well, welcome, Brian. Thank you. Um, you know, there's uh, like you said, those are big shoes to fill. They've been around for a long time. I don't think we'll ever fill them, but uh, we'll certainly do John right and. and move on with with uh, appointing another uh, great person. Uh, what I thought we would do is um, sometime in the coming week we will put something out on the front porch forum um, and announcing you know we'll be looking for people to fill as Don said from here until March and then that position was going to be up anyways and that's a three-year position and then so that would be um, voted for but I certainly, uh, we have your interest, so we will, our next select board uh, meeting, we'll schedule, you know, just a couple of minute, you know, not a couple of minutes, but, you know, 10 minute interviews with folks, or um, if we get more than one, I'd be surprised, who knows, you know, we, you know, we said that with a, one, right? yeah, we said that with the road positions, and we had uh, four people apply, so, you know, people are starting to feel uh, better about getting back into things, I think, so. Great. Um, so you're a realtor in town. What else? You have uh, your family in school or things like that, or uh, no, no kids. Uh, my wife owns a business in Waitsfield. She's a metalsmith. So her and I live at the end of South Hill Road with our dog, and uh, we moved up here from Boston. Um, I was in board. I was in, involved in the board of uh, our condo association, 200 units in Boston. Oh wow! And uh, yeah, certainly uh, very familiar with some of the town records. Just working in the business. Um, but haven't been part of the decision-making process, so I'm excited to learn. And um, I've been in touch with Don a couple of times about being interested, and he keeps uh, yeah. <laughs> asking a younger youth to come involved. I'm 40, so um, you know we're, we're not moving anywhere. It's where we live now, so uh, try and throw in our hat and honor John any way that we can. So that's our plan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any other quick questions? Mm -hmm. No, well, I appreciate you. You're welcome to yes, stay yes. as long as you want, or as, you know, not or not. Go home and watch it. Good night. Thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity. But uh, so let's yeah, go ahead. Yeah, those notes back. <laughs> I know the notes that you have. Oh, you're going back? Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm here to stay. If that's all right. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, great. Yeah. Here we have a. We just. We I just got to keep them. Yeah. yeah, here you go. Actually, really. Thanks, Don. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so uh, is there anyone else speaking if you're, you're, you're taking notes? You're What's that? You're just taking notes? No, you're, I'm here for the um, uh, Aaron Hunt for uh, Trust Morton Library. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. sorry. I can, no, that's okay. The hat and the glasses. <laughs> no, okay. We didn't recognize you, right? No, I could not. So uh, we have Craig. Yes. Craig, why don't you 
Jump up from one of these seats. Should we have your form from last week <coughs> handy or no? Well, if it's I helpful guess, if we need to. Yeah, it's there if you need it. I didn't bring more. That's copies. all right. I have mine. I've done okay. Um, yeah. I'm, so I know that you guys were gonna look at options. Yeah. Sherilyn did some behind the scenes due diligence to make sure networks weren't gonna cause problems. Right. I don't know if she shared any feedback with you. She shared. Um, Nothing locally, but she did reach out to other towns because other towns are looking at the same thing. Sure. And so everyone was looking for experience. You know, if they had an MVP, what's your experience sure. uh, with cross and vice versa? And I don't reading them. I wouldn't make a decision based on them either way. Cause some people love one, some people love the other, and it really was no rhyme or reason. You know, it's uh, kind of true. <laughs> and you know, some towns. Um, so they switched almost every year. It was whatever the cheapest policy was out there. Yeah. Um, That's an unfortunate reality. You know, and they just, it wasn't really much of a discussion. It was like, whatever's the cheapest, and that's the way they went. So, um, Even if the employees were used to the one, it was, you know. That, that was not a consideration. With, with some towns, I'm not saying all towns, yeah. in other towns. Um, but the, So there wasn't good scientific evidence where you would say, you know, I can weigh this one against another. Sure. What I was looking for was more, um, all right, MVP has, you know, covers this here. This is what we covered Blue Shield. Where are our deficits? You know, those type of things. So the Affordable Care Act set the standard for all exchange-based carriers. Doesn't matter Blue Cross, MVP, you name it. But more importantly, the plan you have is also HSA compatible. You don't use it as an HSA, but it is an HSA compatible plan. Right. So the IRS sets the guidelines on that, and it's a very easy comparison. Everybody would still have a calendar year deductible. All the covered expenses that are available today with Blue Cross would be available with MVP because they can't deviate from the Affordable Care Act. Once you meet your deductible, all your covered expenses are paid 100%. The town fills the deductible responsibility with the HRA. That would be embedded just like it is today with Blue Cross, but it would be with MVP, so that would be a, an administrative change. Mm -hmm. And then the same way the HRA runs today, claims go into Blue Cross, they bounce over to the HRA, the HRA pays it. Same thing with MVP, claims would go to MVP, they bounce it to the HRA, the HRA would pay it until money is no longer. Look right. Everybody would have a debit card to use for non-medical expenses, so when somebody goes to a pharmacy, they just use a debit card today to pay right on the spot. When they use it for vision care or dental care, they use the debit card to pay it. It goes through the HRA, debits the account, claims are paid. So, you know, I'm one of the bounce back and forth myself. I'm not the poster child, but all things being equal, I'm not going to pay more money to be with one or the other. So I was with Blue Cross, now I'm with MVP. You um, take the one that's less expensive. Yeah. Because it's expensive to begin with. Right. And there, like you said, I mean, it's really governed by the Affordable, the Affordable Care Act. Yeah. That set the standard, which makes things easier because you're not looking for holes or gaps or what's better or worse. It's it's all what the same. It is. It is. Exact same coverage. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, I don't think that was a question. I think it was just uh, talks. Oh, it wasn't a question. It was a comment. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. So I guess you know, you you know the options. And mm -hmm. Renewal does not look pretty at all. But you know. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not saying what you should do, but. I don't think you want to renew the BEB program that you're on today. 
a Blue Cross renewal would be less effort because everything's in place and all we need to do is say, take the town out of BEB, put the town in Vermont Health Connect with Blue Cross, it's done. Or the alternative is MVP, that's gonna be paperwork for everybody. It's the town and the employees, but it's not onerous, it's just fill out an enrollment form and town fills out an application, and life goes on. So, and it's about and that's 10%, and it's 10 percent saving, yeah. and it's still 15% higher than that's right. So, what we were looking no at. matter how you look at it, prior to this 2025 renewal, it was very blatantly obvious that BEB was where you wanted to be. But now, this year, you're a small group, and claims increased from prior years and claims drive the premium in that program. So it's being reflected in your renewal. And that 10% that represents around $8,000, right? Yeah, the difference, because all the numbers in green are going back to the numbers in blue, right? either Blue Cross or MVP. Hmm. Is there that is, you know, in other words, does the $8,000 in savings approximately, mm -hmm. um, I wonder how that equates the amount of time that's spent by everybody to, you know, to get in the program, you know, yeah. not that, you know, how many hours of everybody's time and what is it's, that amount to? Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, not. I mean, it can't be more than a couple hours. I was well, going to say. Uh, just, you know, did you have a lot for Cheryl Ann to do or anything? No. I pretty much like hand her form yeah, the, signature. Okay, okay, so that's not an issue. Okay. Just the next Stefan, I know you had a comment. Stefan, you had a comment. I need an employee, so you. So my thought is. When I've had plans and stuff, I've needed to talk to Blue Cross. I'm pretty easy to call with the, you know, the Berlin office, and then it's a fairly easy thing. Do you have any experience with MVP and how easy that is or isn't? Like, so I know I, I don't know if MVP has an office in Vermont. Uh, they or how they do in Burlington. Okay, but you would not call them for any service-related things. Okay, you would call New York toll-free number. Pretty quick access, same idea. You got to identify yourself, verify yourself, and then they'll talk to you. Okay. And when and if I need to intervene, I can call on somebody's behalf for either claim or HRA questions. So to me, it's yeah. six one half does the other. You know, it's, I, I work with both. and. I see a lot of migration back and forth, back and forth, because it seems to be the reality of health insurance in Vermont. We got two carriers. They both compete, one more competitive than the other in certain years, and then it swings the other one. <laughs> it's a crazy, vicious cycle. And you find that they both cover most providers, or is that? Yes. The, the two exceptions are mental health providers. Typically, those people take insurance or they don't. And it doesn't matter if it's Blue Cross or MVP. So a mental health provider, if you're in the system using somebody today, if they are network friendly, they're gonna join both. Physical therapists are the other one. So if you're a physical therapist and you're doing business in Vermont, you probably either say, I'm not touching insurance, you pay me, deal with it, or they take them both. So, so if one, just so I understand, if, if um, the physical therapist does not take the insurance, uh, uh, MVP or Blue Cross will still pay. You can't even file yourself. You can't even file. Like dental, say, I know. Yeah, you got to use network providers. Yep. So. You know, again, if Sherilyn checked what people gave her, I didn't hear any feedback that 
there was a provider that was part of one and wasn't part of the other. Right. You know, and again, Vermont, small state, a provider really can't choose to be exclusive with one or the other. They're basically cutting off half of their clients. Right. Yeah. And not to name names, but particular to a physical therapist in the Valley, they made a decision at one year to try to be exclusive, and it blew up in less than a month. They reversed their decision. They're back dealing oh, with, with insurance. insurance. Okay, really? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So, um, but and it meant that someone was using with mental health um, provider. Yeah, it's a provider thing. So if they don't, they would have to switch providers, or someone does. If they wanted to continue coverage, if their provider didn't take MVP, then they either find someone else. Find someone else. Right. Or does. pay out of pocket. Yeah. Or yeah. pay out of pocket. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So those are, I mean, those are valid questions. I mean, that were things that we need to consider. Um, so this is a question, because I was going to originally ask employees uh, how they figured on this, Do, you know, if they looked into their coverage now or their uh, providers. You know, I was going to ask, well, I, I started to ask and I said, no, I don't want the information, because I don't know if it would be um, HIPAA. And so I, you know, immediately or the next day, I said, you know, I got thinking about that. Yeah. So that's probably not a good idea, right? Unless they volunteer it. And if they don't, here's a link, go on the computer and look. Because they can do a search, just right. like you or I could. So right, no, I'm sure they probably know, but I don't know. And I don't want, you know, yeah, that's you one of those questions, to. and I don't need to. And yeah. I just, you know, I don't want people not to have what they need either, so. Yeah. 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 So they have to do the due diligence to see if they're if, if they, if they want to absolutely make something. sure that's the smart thing to do. Yep. Because right. if they're getting PT and then all of a sudden it's accepting one, but it might not be accepting of the other or yeah. whatever. That, that's a possibility. So we don't really. All right. Um. Now, when do we, didn't you, wasn't there, there's a, there's a day that we have to decide this by, wasn't there the last time? We were pushing it to this good meeting because right. the next one was around election time. Yeah. And that wasn't a good time to push anybody's buttons. No, but we needed to, we need to be all locked in by the 15th of November or something Sure, to say. that's a good day. It, you know, I don't want to tell you this and have you remember it. We could do it all the way through second, third week in November, or yeah, December, but, but then it's like nobody has a card on 1-1, one, one. you don't want to push it that long. Yeah, right. right. I like your date, November 15th. Okay, is that good? Cool. Let's, that's a perfect date. So we have another select board meeting on the... Fourth. On the, actually, on the fourth? Yeah, yeah right, before, the day <laughs> before election. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, it should be, you know... <laughs> what it is? <laughs> you know. Well, so we would need to decide sort of by then, by the fourth right. or the fifteenth, or we yeah, because our next meeting would be the eighteenth, so we'd want to be done. Right. We then. should be able to. We've got it's more good information that we got tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we know what it is, and you know we can look at the other budget stuff too. Um, let's see where everything's going before we make this decision. I mean, mm -hmm. there might be other things that. Um, and make sure every, all the employees have been back, right? Right. Yeah. Because, I, I mean, I'm, you know, if you did a poll, I'm sure everyone would like to stay where they're at. Yeah. Um, that's, I guess, without saying. But um, when we're dealing with everyone else's money, we need to consider all options. And um, not necessarily everything the cheapest is always the best. We need to make sure we have the value that we're looking for. Um, so let's continue to do that and make a decision on the next meeting. Were you saying, though, that the, I mean, basically value-wise, I mean, they're basically the same. They are the same. They're, you know, not only the Affordable Care Act, but also because it's HSA, you got two entities controlling this, the Affordable Care Act 
and the IRS. Control the plan design and the benefits. So, so if you, I mean, if you before you walk out the door, I mean, yeah. then, then it would be. It's really. I mean, it's, it's, this is it's the same, it's, MVP would be, would be the last fifteen percent. Yeah, increase. right, right. Because there's your liability yep. for single and two person, and there's the liability. So that that it's part about the same. It's within yeah. fifty bucks yeah. or hundred bucks. So, so it's yeah. really yes, it's that number. It's twenty five percent more or fifteen percent more. That's what it goes down to. Yeah. Robin, did you have any questions? Uh, no, not really. No, I mean, it's it's pretty much apples to apples. It's, you know, the ease of switching doesn't seem to be a big deal. The difference in benefits doesn't seem to really be a big deal. I mean, really, unless the employees were significantly pointing in one direction or the other, you know, I would obviously go with the cheapest one. I think it's going to keep you know, Blue Cross more honest of, you know, they get a bunch of people that say, hey, I don't want to pay that price. You know, the higher ups have to say, you know, at some point, well, we're losing business. You know, pretty good. All right. You know, people don't want to pay and they don't want to pay. Yeah. And I, I don't know if you guys heard the news, but the state called out Blue Cross for having reserves below where the minimum was. Gotcha. Yeah, I did. I did follow that news. Yeah, and that factored into their rate hikes because now they got to fill make up the fill up. Bucket. Yep, fill yeah. up and keep yeah. more on reserve to pay claims because they yeah. don't want to see them going insolvent. That's Oof. not a good thing. So, but they <laughs> continue to want to keep that huge office building on top of next to the airport open and yeah. it, no, I've been by there a hundred times and nobody works there. So, you know, <laughs> it's true, but you're, you're right. They just maintain it. And, but anyways, that's right. part of the reason between the disparity of Blue Cross yeah. and MVP. So, I mean, what's between us and really deciding, I mean, waiting, have we heard from all the employees or? Well, again, I mean, we can't, just, you know, just, as I mentioned, you can't ask them uh, too many questions about Oh, no, about no, it. I understand. They, right, no, they're right, personal. You know, because it's uh, a HIPAA thing. Right. I mean, but if you, I mean, you got I two... I would love to volunteer some information if you'd like to hear that. Well, uh, what type of information? Is it just hearsay stuff, or is it well, science? Well, so that's, that's the thing, is you... Vermont's a small place. There is only the two healthcare things, and you hear good and bad about both. I've just always heard bad about MVP. I don't have any, you know, any experience with it. Yeah. I know the family member had, and they were so, so that's why I asked you about the reaching out about claims and stuff, because sure. they had a lot of trouble with that. Yeah. But that doesn't necessarily say that we'll have the same trouble, and that was, you know, sure. two years ago, so that's. And, you know, with either carrier, when you have problems, you call your broker. Maybe that was that should have been, should have been the problem. Absolutely. Yeah, because that happens. Not not every plan has a broker. Well. I know I've had both, and I haven't had an issue. I didn't have an issue when I had both. I don't have either one now. So because we get looped in a totally different route. Yeah. But. Yeah, um, I, I didn't have a problem with either MVP or Blue Cross. I'm just trying to look for the comments because to, to Stefan's comment, um, that's what I mentioned when we started out with. We had comments from different towns and I didn't want to take any, make a decision based on that because some loved it, some didn't, you right. know, and some yeah. change every, every, so you can't. Right, and if, if it is, you know, truly Apple, Apple. It really, I understand the, the money side of it making sense too. I can't, I, but it's, it's like, I guarantee, I mean, that's what she said. I mean, if there was something that stood out to me and said every, every one of those towns that do not do this, this is a bad decision, I would share it with you. I mean, I'm not yeah. looking to. Yeah, no, we want to do the best, best we can for all. Yeah. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, the way you have it structured with the HRA, employees don't pay anything you know that's the beauty right. of the way your plan is so 
if it's MVP or Blue Cross, whatever their claim is, it's going to get paid by the HR. You basically have a debit card, yeah. Yeah, yeah and this is the best plan. I mean, there's silver plans, there's bronze, bronze plans. plans. And probably right. less than that. There's a platinum plan, but honestly, it's not as good as this gold plan. No, the silver plan is good. It has a higher out-of-pocket. So the plan you're on, I would say probably 80% of the people or companies in Vermont sponsor it mm -hmm. and do exactly what the town is doing. Wrap an HRA right around it, create you know, very attractive, low, out-of-pocket costs. Right. With an HRA, is it going to be the same stuff as we have with Blue Cross? Whatever we don't use at the end of the year is gone, nobody sees it again? That's the function of an HRA. Okay. Yep. I just want to make sure it's the same between both. And yep, absolutely. Yep. So. Okay. So I guess, Don, to your point, I guess there isn't anything else that... I mean, if you're ready to make a decision on it, I'm just wondering if it's you know if it's a done deal or we want to. I mean, we can wait another couple it's of up weeks. To you guys, I don't. What's your thoughts? Yeah, it's completely up to you. I mean, if you if if Stefan wants to go back and tell the guys to comment on it and see how they feel and come back if they want to volunteer their opinion, that do another would week hurt in helping yeah. me decide if they if if five guys you know if five of the employees came back and said, hey, I really want to stay on Blue Cross. For eight thousand dollars, I might say, "Yeah, okay." But if it has to be voluntary, voluntary, you know. Right. Well, I think. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they would all like to stay on the same plan, but is it going to hurt to not stay on that it plan? It, like if it's, it's just two matter. hours of paperwork, that's it. It's um, yeah, it's, worth it's, it's still a pretty good yeah benefit. Eight grand, eight grand, eight grand. Eight grand, eight grand. Eight grand. Yeah. I'm not going to scoff that. There's no pre uh, physicals or anything either switching. No pre-existing, no caps, no limits, no none of that. So the physical therapy is covered as long as they take the MPP insurance. Either way, if if you're getting physical therapy, mental health, substance abuse, regular medical, as long as they take that insurance, you're fine. Okay. Yep. So, so maybe a little bit more work on the employee's part finding somebody. That's all. If they if find right. that they're not duly network. Yep. Yep. That's exactly. So yeah, I think maybe Stefan, you go back to your guys and say, check this out. We're gonna have a decision in a week or right. whatever. Yeah. And you and Sherilyn have probably done your due diligence here to make sure there's no interruption. Once everybody does that, you can really make a firm decision. Good. Yeah. That's okay. Good. That's fair. That's fair. Give everybody yeah. another shot at it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm good with that. All right. And just, um, I know you've got a lot of things on your plate, but if, if someone at the town garage has a question, they can just call you. Absolutely. Out, right? I'll just I'll stop in and meet with them. Sure. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Absolutely. Or the town office. Yeah. And you know, if I'm getting in front of the ball here, but if there is a change, bring everybody together in one place at one time and we have a meeting. This is what's going on, here's how it works. Right. No, I think get everybody on the same page together. Yeah. Might not be easy, but it's well worth the. Oh, effort. once the decision. Yeah, made, once the decision. You got to do right. Yeah, and here's. That's it's almost like you you'd like to be able to make a decision and tell them at this rather than hear them on a have them on a public meeting go home and say, hey, guess what? We're changing insurance. Yeah, you know, and then we. Yeah, exactly. Bring to a meeting is. Not the, but I know he's talking about. No, I I understand. I understand. Oh, yeah. I, I just best case scenario is we could. No, it would just no. be the, it wouldn't be yeah. the select board, it would just be him meeting with the employees right, exactly. telling yeah, I guess. what it's about. Exactly. Right. My point's lost, but that's yeah. fine. Let's yeah. go. Oh, I hear what you're saying. Right. Um, but Craig, just yeah. before good night and have a great evening, but um, maybe that would be if you can go into the town garage one morning at seven or something and see the five, four guys, that'd be great. I, you know, I could do that whenever. Okay. Friday. Friday. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. let me know. I could be there Friday night if that happens to work. Great, great. Thank you so much. Me.
Perfect. Yep. Thank you, Craig. I appreciate okay. it. Thank Thanks you, guys. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Moving on. All right. Good luck. Thanks. One die. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> <One> die. <laughs> Come on. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So the next um, agenda item we have is the uh, library discussion on the name change. Yes. So, so I'm Erin Hunt. I'm here um, on behalf of the um, Library Board of Trustees, and I joined back in March, and they had already well been in discussion on um, changing the name of the library. And the reason being is it, they really, we really want to reflect that it's more of a community space, that it's not just books, that it's not just computers, especially because of all the work that Corey does with um, in-person events and then also events all around the town. So um, we want to change it from Moortown Memorial Library to Moortown Community Library. Um, we did some research on the history to see if there was any historical significance to Moortown Memorial Library. Um, and what we found is it doesn't seem that there is, and we, we discussed this with the Historical Society, they actually used to be the Moortown Free Library, then there was a new library that was Moortown Memorial. And they named it Memorial because it was funded by donations. And so um, we went to the Historical Society and asked if, you know, if there was any really significant reason why we should hold on to that or if we can't move to community in order to get, make it more of a gathering space. Um, they did not come up with any um, really uh, opposition over that. And so what the plan is, is um, number one, we are doing kind of a legal scope right now to see which, um, who, which businesses, um, anyone who has any contracts with Moortown Library, and if we need to change the name on the contracts. And so the friends of the Moortown Library are going to be engaging with um, an attorney to be able to do a search for us. So if there, we can come up with anything, but um, if there is anything out there that needs to be legally changed, we can do that. And then right. there will be a uh, new logo that we're going to create that will match Jocelyn and Warren. Um, Warren and Jocelyn have a very similar look. We are all part of the same Men River Valley libraries. So once we have a new name, we'll have a new logo. Um, and hopefully it'll also tie into um, Chamber of Commerce, Mad River Valley as well. Kind of that look, that feel, because we really want to make it look connected to the entire valley um, rather than kind of stand alone. That's my spiel. What questions do you have? Yeah, I think um, you answered all my questions. I, mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I was concerned, I, as long as you, you spoke with the uh, Historical Society, yep. you did the history, you looked, and you're looking into legally. Um, yep. I, I certainly don't have any questions or concerns. No, I think it seems fine. Yeah, and that's not, it's not really a big deal. Drastic change, <laughs> no. though. Don't yeah. say that out loud. There'll be one person that comes out. That's all you get some most important thing. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say that. It's a forever name. Though. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. No, but it, it seems like a you know reasonable. Well, it's a reasonable request. Yeah. So yes. what do you? Um, so we just need to go ahead and approve that. I think, um, and that's what you're here for. So, uh, Robin, did you have any concerns or questions at all? No, not at all. No, unless there was like some donor, like the Meads down in Middlebury, that left them a church, then I think I'm okay. <laughs> no, we wish there were yeah, donors we in so. Middlebury that we can tap into for more memories, but no. No, I think um, that's a great name. So it'd be more it is town, a community center. So. More town Community Library? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds nice. Sounds great. All right, I'd uh, move to accept the change from Moortown Memorial Library to Moortown Community. Library. Second. Second it. We have a second from Miss Callie over there. Thank you, Robin. Otherwise, uh, any further discussion? All in no. favor, vote aye. 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 Thank you all. Thank and, uh, you. All right. Appreciate thank it. you for thank doing you, what you do. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing that new logo. I know. Me too. <laughs> all right. We'll step share that with you when we have it. 
Okay. Beautiful. Thank you. Great. Yeah, please do. Are you doing stuff on? Pretty good. How are you? Yeah, we're doing all right tonight, I think. I think. So I have a few things. Um, if you don't mind me just jumping in here. No, did you have? I'm just looking to see if there was anything that you sent along that we should have. Yeah. Oh. The budget, right? Yes, I don't know. Please do here, okay. Yeah. All right, stuff like that. Um, nothing really, you know, drastically changed. Mostly level funding thing. A few changes were in dispatching and uh, just phone, telephone because we are slightly over this year, so I figured to try to get more in tune with it for next year. Um, yeah, that's basically the, the thing. And I had tried to get the uh, actual number of dispatching services, oh. but I do know that there's a, you know, there's, they go up percentages every year. Yep. And I wasn't able to get the, the firm number, but that seems to be on track with what it has been happening. Okay, so that's, so that's that's not a you know a definite number. Right, but just trying for budgeting. Kind of worst case scenario there. I hope. I hope as well. Um, very good. And any other threats? That's good. Uh, we're not seeing anything different there. No, I am trying to you know level fun. It's there's always there's always the the needs and the wants list and. Well, in your email, didn't you say you had, we needed, unless you have it in here, you needed so I was, two air. So we, typically what I've been understanding is we work on articles a little, little later <coughs> on, um, right. but I will be planning on requesting an article for uh, two more sets of fire gear again, um, which kind of moves me into um, this year. I was able to get some quotes for fire gear that I brought with me. Yep. Um, I have... One for everybody. I guess so. Huh? And then there's a, a second one for everybody. Thank you. This is for the gear, right? Thanks. Huh? Yes, yeah. this is for the gear. Uh, there is only two quotes there, but it is one of the uh, companies, MES, was supposed to quote two brands of fire gear. And then he sent me an email saying he would only be able to do God, one of them. So there is only two quotes. It's amazing, you're about the same. Correct. Yeah. You might as well call it the same. Yeah. $30. $30. $30. Yeah, um, $9,000. All right, so what's the difference here, Stefan? Um, the Reynolds and Sons Fire Decks is. Reynolds and Sons based out of Barrie. Yeah. So they're a local Vermont company. The other one's out of Connecticut, so they're not you know, crazy far out. Um, Reynolds and Sons Fire Dex gear is what we currently have, so it would match what we currently have, which I think makes the most sense. We're not wearing slightly different looking colored hodgepodge of stuff. Oh, come on. <laughs> right. I, didn't realize, I didn't realize you were the fashion guy. We gotta keep you. I know, I know. You were matching outfits, seriously. Like it, it. It's really interesting when you get to a fire scene and like people do that. They look for a certain color because ours is slightly different than a lot of other towns. We're not quite as bright yellow, and we're not black. So. Or orange. Or, or orange. That's true. And I believe, if I remember correctly, it's a ten thousand dollar. Um, article not to exceed, exceed 10,000. Yeah, I was just looking at what, what article was that? Was it or 30? Was it that late? Yeah. Five, maybe? I think it was late like that. I can't remember. Well, I hope uh, it's not 35. <laughs> <laughs> what, from last year? Yeah. yeah. I can't remember. <laughs> I think it was high, though. Because uh, there's only 33 articles. Oh, well, it couldn't have been 35 then. <laughs> It's a secret article that I have. Yeah, no, I'm sure it's here. I right? was just um, we got culverts, we got Nathan's funds. All right, here, Article Nine. Oh, I was way off. Uh, I was going to say yeah, it's usually before all the um, Australian ballot of the other smaller articles. So the town of Wartown authorizes the board to sum not to exceed ten thousand uh, plus interest. Ooh. 
And for the estimated cost of purchasing turnout gear for the Wartown Volunteer Fire Department and its best adjustments. Um, so yeah, so well the money was uh, appropriated, so I didn't know that it passed. So I would, um, based on what you've told us, and also that Reynolds is thirty dollars cheaper than um, the other one. MES. Any, Municipal any? Emergency Services. Well. Or pardon me, the other way around. MES charged tax. Did they? They did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they well, should well. not. <laughs> All right. So now we're now we're saving some real money. Yeah. <laughs> Good catch. I didn't even notice that. But I mean. So now we're talking uh, four hundred bucks. Our tax was yeah five hundred forty six. Well, the fact that we have rentals makes a difference too. Keep it in the same mm. family. Right. Yeah. I think so. They've always, you know, and they've treated us well if we've had issues with with product. You mm -hmm. know. This was a note from a, from I think that meeting or something. I have a note. Need list of items. Yes, yeah, so in, it's broken down as to what's in it. That's the bunker what's in pants, the bunker coat. No, from last year. But oh, now okay. I see. I, okay. We have it. Yeah, maybe we didn't have the items there or something. I remember someone asking us what they were. All right, so why don't we um, do want to make a motion on that one, on the rentals? And we'll have it be an, uh, <coughs> and we'll buy it or, oh, that's, that's right. Right, 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 right. Well, but you're going to have to do this again for next year too, though, aren't you? Correct, I'll put in the money again and then during next year's budget time, like when we're in next year's budget, I would work on getting the quotes again to buy it next year also. So because that's what you were because, saying, because that's it, not it, it, was here, yeah. it was approved last right. year for this. Right, right. I mean next another, year, I understand. Next year. So, so it's, it's, it's two saying, sets it's not of, in this. correct. Um, it's two sets of fire gear and ours is quickly coming up so I'm trying to do it it's staggered again right. like we did like with you the theater theater last class. year, right? Yep. yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so go. I move to go ahead and purchase the Reynolds um, and Sons uh, turnout equipment um, for uh, nine thousand six hundred ninety-eight dollars ninety-two cents. Uh, that was uh, appropriated at the twenty twenty-four town meeting. I'll second that. Any further discussion? All in favor, vote aye. 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 All right, Stephon. There you go. Excellent. Great. Thank you. Um, um, well, I'm here also. Uh, quick update on the tanker truck. The pieces are together on the on the truck. They're doing the wiring and you know all the the mounting and everything. They got a little bit behind for this, that, and the other reason. Um, but it looks like we'll see it in the month of October, early November at the latest, is what I've been told. They, you know, I'll know better once it's closed because they send us out there to do a factory inspection to make sure that it's how we ordered it. And so it, it's coming along. Um, Do we yeah. have a delivery party or something? So it's interesting you say that. I, I'm hoping to do like, uh, you know, hot dogs on the grill or something, yeah. you know, when it comes in to kind of have the community be able to come and, and look at what they, right. what they spent money on. Right. Well, to be made that would be a, a good opportunity to maybe do some kind of a um, fundraise. Well, we can do that. But, um, but also some kind of outreach to try to get people to come and join the fire department. It's a very great idea. I like that. You know, I think, you know, you guys got a great team out there, but you need, you know, if we could pull in, I mean, you need more people. 50 or 60 more would right. be good. <laughs> no, just so there's yeah. more options for everyone. Right, and, no, that. Um, so I think, you know, coming down to food, a pretty truck. Um, Come see. You, you might join, you can get a membership, uh, you yeah. ski past the sugar bush if you join and stay for six months right. or longer. You know, things like most, that. Most yeah. Yeah. Things, let people yeah. know that. I like it. Exactly. Get a little bit of a ride on that thing. Get a new uniform. You know? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yep. So you should be praying around. It. So that time, yeah, have your uniforms on. And, you know, do all that stuff so people will see what you get. And uh, no, I think that would be a good recruitment, recruitment time. To yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So okay. kind of good. So if you're going to plan that, yeah, if you don't mind, if you could try to think in those terms. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, yeah. Be good. 
and I'll try to give as much notice as I can to make sure that the truck arrives in the state of Vermont yeah, before we, I make any plans. That, right, right. <laughs> Although, you know what? There was a little hiccup, though. Um, we were going to get a finance, but we can't finance. Oh. <laughs> well, that's okay. You guys no, have plenty of money <laughs> hiding somewhere. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I never uh, received that um, that uh, per contract back. Yeah. I'll get after him again and make sure I get my yeah, hands on it. I need that, or we, I don't need it, but the bank. The bank really needs that. Yep. So, um, yeah, so then we can make a choice whether we want to buy that thing or not. Once we right. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And not to be that guy, if you look at the capital plan, it has uh, a fire engine in 2029. So we're about due to start the process of that, getting the consultants together and, and all of that. Wow. Off. It is. Yeah. It is a ways off. Yeah, we got. We could have a new board by then. Exactly. So if we get it ordered now. Now let's someone else in with that one. Yeah. So they're going to need a loader, and they're going to need. Um, There'll be time for another tandem by then. Another tandem. If you need some help though organizing the uh, the gathering, let yep. me know. I'll be Maybe I can help you, or I got. Maybe we'll get lucky to be warm yeah. still. Yeah, but Don's a good party guy. Yeah, he'll get out with that. He's got a lot of good contacts that he can, yeah, I can tap that into, bringing some good resources. Yeah, be happy to help. Absolutely, I appreciate that. Yep. Excellent. All right, Stefan. Is there anything else you guys have for me here? No. <laughs> no. no. Oh, yes. We absolutely have already bought the candy and everything. We're going to be the best place on the block this year. Really? Yeah, we good. I have several bags of everything. I have all the good candies from Airheads to M&M's to all of them. I went to Costco and got the big bags. Nice. Oh, good. So, what about the trucks? Are you, guys, are you going to be able to do the, the trucks at the end? The safety Oh, like we did the... Uh, I know they're going to ask. Them. Right, I don't see I don't see why we couldn't okay. certainly, you know, put the town trucks at either end kind of put their blinking lights on them. so kind of slow people. Oh, yeah, there's something going on here. It does seem to help. That yeah, so I certainly think that's appreciated I mean, by the right committee. Yeah. And I mean Absolutely. people know it's Halloween, so it's not a, it's, it's kind of a it's their helpful reminder that hey yeah. there could be slow children down. jumping in the street. Yeah, yeah. No, and we have a great turn here. This is a great place to it's, it's really yeah. a cool, cool place to see, you know, all the, I was all the families. Should, um, we should get candy for that this office and open that up so you know. That'd be a good idea. But maybe next year, right? I thought maybe. it was yeah. We could all be in costumes or something. Yeah. Okay, we'll work on that. Work on that. Yeah. Maybe Brian when he's on here because yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> Don't make it too scary, though. <laughs> um, and then everything else, um, with the um, road stuff is all good. You got Eric starting next week, next Tuesday, right? Or no, no next Monday, the twenty eighth. Today. Oh, he did. <laughs> yeah. He started already. I saw him drive by the other day. My house. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, hit the ground running. So. All right. Great. Right. And it seems to be he goes away around town a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knows how to drive a truck. He does know how to get, get around town. Yeah. He he knows he's uh, he's certainly already been a been an asset to have that that extra pair of hands back. Sure, good. And he's motivated, so I think everything will be good. He drives well with all of us, so good. Well, uh, thank you for you know helping him out, get some rain, and um, you know just I mean, we obviously know what his strengths are, but there's I'm sure lots of stuff that he can learn from you guys as well. No, oh, absolutely. Probably some good stuff and too. I think that's a two-way street. For, <laughs> right. No, for I certain. think it'll be uh, be good for all. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Stefan. Yeah. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. So, all right, Brian. What do you think? Halfway through this meeting, or mostly, you know, you ready he to leave and not? <laughs> he hasn't fallen asleep <laughs> yet. I was a person. That's great. Good. Sasha usually goes with beer around this time, so now the people are left. Yeah, we wish. <laughs> yeah, there'd be some uh, interesting meetings for sure. <laughs> so we do have um, class four um, road and legal trail discussion tonight. Mm -hmm. um, 
Now, I was thinking there might be someone from the committee here, but there is not, obviously. Oh, what? Yeah, she's from the I'm the vice chair. She's the freaking vice yeah, chair. That's right. my name. I'm sure you guys have been frustrated that we haven't. It's taken us so long to get it. You know, we've had so many things. Oh no, up. we wanted to get it done in Allen Beat. <laughs> yeah. So we, they, um, thank you. My apologies. I was like, I was reading the names earlier because I have the, the document here that has everyone's name on yeah, it. Uh, Bob Sargent, Callie Streeter. Chris uh, Stevenson, Colin Noll, Craig Oshkello, Dave Stapleton, John Schmelzer, and our road forward Martin Cameron and Paula Woods. Um, and a lot of these planning commission people, Collins, a resident, rec committee, select board, uh, Bob Sargent, a resident, and uh, Paula, she's on the uh, DRP. So. Yeah. Um, it's a good mix of folks. Good mix of people, and we were just kind of updating our class four highway and legal trail policy. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go ahead, tell me and um, share what the changes are. And if you're reading, Robin, you must have yours. Is there anything on Sasha? Yeah, I got my copy. Yeah, I've already reviewed it, and uh, but, uh, yeah. go ahead. Ready Tom. to go ahead? If there's anything that you want to point out. So a lot of the changes. We added highway everywhere to kind of keep consistency through. It's part of statute. Everything's called highway. Um, Wait, I just have to interject one thing. I just learned something amazing. Do you know why they're called highways? It, it goes way back. I mean, in early history, the Romans were the first ones to use the word highway because they built the roads up and made them a highway. And that's where the word highway comes from. It's not like your interstate out there that we're all growing up thinking that that's a highway. So, you know, that was the, or the origin of the word. Sorry to interrupt. Well, thank you very you much, uh, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure I have my copy back. <laughs> okay, so, sorry, there you go. The one piece that is new, and I believe it was in the previous policy, but a little different is the class four and legal trail advisory committee. So it recommends an advisory team with the road form and a select board member and a select board designee who has to be a resident. And that is kind of the group that is working on some of the classification changes, if there's anything that it kind of goes to that group first. All right. And, um, um, with that, did you guys, because there are some residents was there any discussion of people that wanted to do that or anything like that? So that wasn't brought up. No. Um, we kind of, there was a big discussion on groups because we have A and B. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> my position was to get rid of A and B and make it easier because that's, I think, where a lot of confusion is. But we worked to basically make it easier to understand if you're looking at the policy, what is an A, what is a B. Um, we also discussed attaching the list that Martin has to the policy, policy. so as an appendix to it so people could see. Um, they can request a change anytime. But that people can clearly see if they're looking at a property and they do their research, mm -hmm. they'll know that they're on a class. And that's why we added in here the map of legal trails. So there's a link if people are looking at it online, they can click and go see exactly where they are. That's really good. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Um, classification changes with the statute. I like um, that as you've gone through, you've added not only the changes, but the statute behind the changes and where to go if you want to request something new. So I think that's a good, um, a great way to have this document. Yeah. And it like kind the, of. The biography is right in the uh, text itself. Yeah. And it explains like what to do if you wish to have your road reclassified, what you need to do. Um, maintenance. Is a big one. So they added that the potential that is not right. 
Which one? Should be 4B. And the first sentence, the town shall not provide any summer maintenance on class 4A highways, except as required. Well, no, because we well, do class summer 4A maintenance. And, and we, because they're class 4. But not, I think that's what they're saying. They shall not provide any maintenance except as required by necessity in the public good and convenience. Um, such as bridge culverts and ditches, which so that's what you would doing. still do. We do that still, right? Yeah, there. but if you look back, a group A is the highways are determined to be of sufficiently good condition that the town equipment will not be damaged for use on these roads, which comes into grading, because class four A roads can be. They can be, but we're graded. not. But what we're not locking ourselves into it that. Um, that we are going to do it. Right. Hmm. And with that it's public good cause. storm, if it's, you know, to, to keep it. Because underneath that, you have the sentence, uh, the town shall not provide any maintenance or upkeep on illegal trails or class 4B highways. So you're kind of covering what you just were thinking of changing up before. Right. Right. Well, we've never done anything on these. Right. He only anyway. does stuff on B when there's some blowout or something that he has to just fix a culvert or something like that. Right. Well, this is saying that we don't even do that on Bs. So you cover yourself on the four A's though by by making the comment about in the public good, you cover yourself for any maintenance that you need to do on four A's because it's in the public good. Right. Without committing yourself to, to to doing it. I think that's the correct wording in my yeah mind. yeah no i think that's the interpretation they were looking gives you, for gives you well, let's, yeah well, let's go ahead and move forward we're not going to adopt this tonight anyway so okay. that you can follow up and just clarify with yeah because if i remember we were still looking at some of that on four a's but not doing anything on b's yeah, so take some time to talk yeah. to Mark yeah. and talk with yeah, and I, or I'll email Paula and just yeah. ask her and make sure. Yep. Because it has been since Yeah, it's been a while. July. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Lots of time. Yeah. A lot can But But I, I I sort of recall though that there have been there are some cases that on a B, class four B, that Martin has had to, you know, there's been some blow off from a storm and he's not, you know, just, fit, you know, he's done some repair on some, some of them. Yeah, which this but is But we saying. should go back. I know it doesn't say that, but, you know, maybe that could be, that's what's one of the things we want to clarify, right? Yeah, I think, um, I think anything that's, and maybe we should look in, but I think. Uh, again, if, it, if it's back. something like it's flood related, then we're, we know we're going to have to go in there. I think the wording in there Leaves it open. No. Well, if you go, no. wait a second, folks. It doesn't. If you go towards the next page, disaster or emergency maintenance, in case of a disaster or an unforeseen emergency event, the town may restore a class four highway to its pre disaster okay. use. So that covers yeah. that. There. Exactly. And that's what we're planning. That's what we've always Well, done. it says we may. Right. It doesn't. It doesn't say we have to, it says we may. Well, May is being at, right, added. Right? Yes, May is being added because <laughs> there were a lot of questions about that so oh, over the last two years with <clears throat> some of the storms and stuff. Yes. And some of the pressure on building on those roads. And we changed it from pre disaster condition <laughs> to pre disaster use because if you have a picture from 10 years ago when the roads have gone cool. down, there were questions about that. Mm -hmm. um, we did add the piece in there about <coughs> maintenance and permits for work on these roads. Yes, I mean, technically, so if you are plowing a class four road, you should have a right of way permit to do it for work in the town right away. Okay. So. Oh, so we did add the piece about right away access. Mm -hmm. That we shall control access 
into the road right away for the insulation repair of utilities. And we also brought in posting of these that no highway of any class may be intentionally closed by a gate or other obstruction except upon approval of the select board. So there are class four roads and legal trails that are blocked that probably shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. I mean, we look, there's the one up on Ward Brook that's blocked with cement barriers. Ward Brook, where's the oh. um, God. What's his name? Uh, what's it called? No, it's. Um, what are they, like Jersey barriers? No, they're cement, like full cement blocks they were oh, uh, we put there. steam out up there we always brought a load of material up there uh jeff yes Ledoux. Ledoux. yes so i think that is still blocked or not but we did add that in that they should not be intentionally closed and i know there's a couple others too you should hear about those things. People need to complain about those. Well, you've told us about that gate before. Yeah, there's one there. There's one on Herringbrook. There's one's blocked up there. Um, there's a few that I know of that probably, is it probably trail shouldn't is it, be. <clears throat> but is it the trail? Is it all private land on both sides of the trail? Well, it's private land on either side so, of the trail, but it's the I mean, trail that runs person, through it. Right. It's a legal trail. Multiple. Yeah. But I think they're different people going through. So, just to add that in. But a lot of this was just to kind of clarify for people coming in what is... And what is the it? The expectation is what people know know what's going on. I think they really what the rules rules of the road are. Right. Basically. And I believe we had talked about having something on the front page of the website so that any attorneys or people coming in looking knew what the expectation is. Because a lot of times people will buy a property and say, oh, it's been done X, Y, and Z for so many years. The town does maintenance, and guess what? The town does it. doesn't right. do maintenance. So. All right, so that's very good. You guys have done a nice job. So yeah, really. what we need to do is you, if you could clarify on the questions that we have, then we'll go ahead. At that point, we would um, adopt this and also figure out um, advisory committee, the class four legal trail advisory committee. So um, if you and Paula and Sarkin were thinking, you know, throw that out, any ideas there. So when you come back, so we can kind of do that all at once. Mm -hmm. So we can um, jump off and go. Rose Woman, select one, select one. So we got probably, well, road Foreman's pretty locked in. Um, and then for select board, you know, Callie's been on the thing and she wants to continue it. Go ahead. Yeah. And um, whoever well, we can find us. And then up. maybe someone from the committee. That's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well. One of those guys might want to call in. He had interest, but how was he on the board? Was he all right or did he show oh, up? Oh, yeah. 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 No, he was fine. Good. No, he was fine. I think that's good. No, when I say that, I mean, he just showed up and things like everything, people were participating in. Yeah, yeah, he had a lot of good feedback. Good. Too, I think. Yeah, so someone, you know, on the board, I would start there. If there are people who want to continue on, and if you don't find someone with that committee, um, you know, come and we'll find someone. Or yeah. help you find someone. Yeah. So just come with a recommendation. Cool. <laughs> exactly. Well, I would say <laughs> Travis would have interest, but he doesn't want to be on any boards, so. Yeah. Well, there you go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's, uh, there's probably a mutual <laughs> feeling there. So, yeah. but either way. Any yes. other comments or questions for Callie on the no. last four stuff? No, that's great. Thanks, Callie. Appreciate yeah. your hard work on that. Yeah, thank you, Callie. Thank you for 
for being on the board and showing up tonight. <laughs> well, both Sasha and I forgot that, your hard work there. Um, but, all right, so let's go ahead and move on. Um, so we are almost on time. Hey, Tom, uh, I just want to interrupt before you move on. Sure. I'm probably going to drop off the call. I'm just not feeling so hot here, and uh, I think I'm going to leave the meeting now. That's and, fine. Uh, well, thank you. We, got, we don't have much left, but Robin, I want to appreciate our thank you for uh, jumping on tonight. I hope you uh, yeah. get well or feel better. Feel better. Or yeah, well, we just got over the COVID like a week ago, and then some kind of rebound. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. lingers on, oh, for but sure. I am just... Feeling like crap, running a fever, and uh, gonna, right. gonna well, I'm glad you can show up tonight, though. Thank you. Yeah, I know you definitely don't want it between the COVID and whatever this is. Hopefully, it's not the it's RSV thing. Going. All right, all right, okay. I am gonna let you guys go. All right, thank Bye you. Now. That's okay. Thanks for being here. All right, COVID again. The guy's always sick. So, we were, did I just of the same reports, right? We're going to go ahead and move to that. And Sasha, do you have sure. anything for us? Um, bids. Bids. Yes. You want to do those first? Yeah, why don't we go ahead and do that. What are we doing first? We had a couple of bids that oh, were, um... And so the first one, um, Dear Select Board Members, these bids for this project were received and read publicly at the Moortown office on Friday, October 18th by Cheryl and Brown. In witness by myself, and that myself being Ray uh, Washburn, uh, Mike Avery, and Donnie Weston uh, attaches the copy of the bid tab I put together. Uh, Waters excavation was the apparent low bidder at thirty-seven thousand nine hundred fifty. There was only one one thing not regular in the bid document on Don Weston's bid. It had no effect on the pricing. Uh, pardon my, I can't speak tonight. Uh, More towns purchases. Purchasing policy in the bid documents allow the town to accept or reject any bid. Um, Whatever is in the best interest of the town, water's excavation price is 8,100, 21% below Hallstrom's. Based on the review and investigation, I would recommend the town of Moortown award the old Route 100 slope repair project to water's excavation for $37,950. And with that attachment, you guys were all sent this stuff, and it's probably in front of you as well. But it has the um, Excel sheet with all the one, two, three, four, five, six, six bits. So that was a good bit of uh, process. Good turn up. Good turn up there. What so is that? I mean, do you, I'm just curious. What's what's the work? Is it the North end or the south? Which I'm mean, just curious, just real quickly, like where, it, where it is on over 100. It's, it's on this. It'll be on the north end towards the north end. That little slope, slope up there. Where they had done something. And then down them. below this, yeah. Okay, I know where that is. Yeah, that's a little bit right there. All right, so I just need a, um, a motion to accept that. If I could get one, please. I'll make a motion to accept the bid of Waters uh, construction to repair over 100, the slope on over 100 bid for 37950 dollars. Second. Okay, well, thank you. Just three of us here, so um, we all got to participate. All in favor for that? I <laughs> no, say. So we'll go ahead and uh, do that one. Where where are we now with with all this repair, basically? Where are we? I um, mean, in the in the big picture. I mean, this wasn't really flood related. This is um, flood mitigation. Flood. Okay. So FEMA uh, had <clears throat> allowed us flood mitigation money. So these projects here that we we have been bidding on are we did last uh, meeting, and this is all flood yeah. mitigation work. Um, and it's work that we were looking to do anyway, so it's, it's good stuff. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll no. get about 93%, 93%, 92.5% uh, reimbursement on it. So it's, you know, stuff that we were going to have to do regular, some of it's like regular maintenance stuff that we we're going to be doing that would have been out of pocket. So uh, significant savings um, as long as FEMA comes up with um, their part, which. Right. Um, right. You know, everything Everything has been approved, so we have it just so we're all comfortable with it, everything. Um, there was a second, so we were having a discussion. Mm -hmm. um, everything has been approved, so we're not going 
doing anything. And if you if you follow the emails, and there are tons of them, um, there are. and the process is through. Everything is being approved, uh, pre-approved through FEMA. Ray gets um, the approval, so that's why we're, we're doing this. But this now. is the mitigation piece. But in terms of the 2024 July 24 flood, where where some of that's going on too. Actually, I misspoke because last meeting we we did the Jones Brook. Um, the um, cement culverts. The, yeah. Uh, and that was one of the bids, yeah. That was one of the bids there for, I don't know, what was that, 700000 or something like that? Something yeah. like that. $700,000. That was a, an expensive one. But that's from 2023, that repair. That was the. Tw uh, I think it's the money. No, that was, well, that was the one that was, it was actually wiped out in both. Remember, we had the yeah. temporary ones in, and before we could put in the new ones that we were putting in. Uh, metal for like four foot culverts. Yeah. And they got wiped out the temporary ones, so then we went to the box culverts. That's the word I was looking for. Um, and so that was the Avery. And these two things here um, are just uh, mitigation stuff, so that, yeah. no, that, okay. that, I know. that doesn't okay. wash out that uh, corner there. And FEMA's just starting their kickoff stuff for. 2024 was in the last couple. Yeah, we're weeks. still waiting for 2023, right? Uh, where are we? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No. They have no money though. Yeah, no, no. it's. <laughs> but everything's. Checks in the mail. Right. What? Checks in the mail. Yeah. But, but I mean, so what do we do? We just have to carry it for until it finally mm -hmm. gets resolved, and that's what your attempt Barry's doing. I mean, Berlin's yeah. doing. Mm-hmm. Sasha, was there so how do we I'm trying to look on was I can't I think it was just that one. Just that one, I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought I wanted to make sure it was So how, I'm just curious just to real quick and we'll move on, but because I know maybe we should be talking about this within the second or something, but um, how are we so the interest on the money that we had to borrow for the twenty twenty four flood, we're just having to print that in the back room basically. Basically, yeah. mm -hmm. you know. I mean that's, you know, no, and that's the you those know. tax you, I, you know, the tax dollars that we just put in, that's what's going out. Um, they are paying, or they will pay the interest on these no, dollars as well. No, but you know, when, you know, so it's just carrying it. I mean, I know it's yeah, not a it's just carrying for, We could be but, carrying it for two years, you know, by the time they get resolved. Uh, but Northfield Savings Bank has been really good. Um, you know, the rates, they've given us preferred rates, uh, given this, it's, a, you know, the line of credit. Mm -hmm. uh, and so there's really nothing else we can do because we cannot repair the roads. It's our infrastructure. Um, it's pretty important to have. Yeah. Um, no, we had to save people almost you know, yeah. to their homes. So, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, no, we're lucky to, and, and the, the, I was talking to Martin about it. Um, just we, we are, I think our best decision that we've made in probably in a long time was hiring uh, a consultant and it happened to be Ray, um, and it could have been two other people or whoever it was, but I think that has probably saved us more money um, uh, than anything. Um, and it's helped get the job done. And, and actually get the stuff done. Uh, but, and Ray's expertise on it, I think, has been able to um, really put things together for us. So, yep. All right, Sasha, so we did that. Um, MOU. Yes. Have you guys had a chance to read that over? I have not. You have okay. So let's hold this. Um, so this is the MOU with the supervisory union. Mm -hmm. um, they made a few little changes, right, Sasha? Yeah, they didn't yeah. there anything, no, I didn't see. Well, so there's not much there. I guess the only yeah. thing I want to take a look, I want to look at this and just think about it a little bit and ask you two to do the same. Let's see if there's anything we want to change. Um, because we've been making some improvements to things. But just think about it or see if there's any processes uh, or anything we want to change. I can okay. say that we have a great relationship with them over there. Um, you know, Ray Daigle's is great. The principal seems to be real good. We, everyone responds to everyone. So I don't think there would be anything that I want to change, but I think I'd like to just read it over again before I make that decision. And I did with all the billing for them, um, parking lot so far, I've gotten one hundred and fifty thousand dollars back from the school. Oh, good. So, so right, they pay their bills too. So yeah. that's always nice. Um, 
I need a confirmation. Is uh, Stefan not doing the E911 anymore? Stefan is not doing the E911 okay. anymore, and I've asked Carol to do it. Or actually, I asked Cheryl to Linda asked Carol to do it. We'd already discussed that. Um, Stefan was happy to do that last um, week. Or, yeah, Don. <laughs> Don was going to say Don was there. Um, we had had a meeting with the road crew. It went mm -hmm. very well uh, with Stefan and yeah, he was happy Rodney to meet him and with that. we got just a good conversation we had with all the guys, I thought. And that was one of the things that came out of it is that he's not gonna do that anymore. Okay. Um, before Columbus Day, I'd asked about Columbus Day, adding it to our holidays. Is that something you guys have thought about? Um, so I think we should just wait on adding any holidays and okay. just um, when we do our policies for the, the year. I know sometimes we used to wait until after the first select or after mm -hmm. March to change that. We didn't do it this year. We didn't do that. <laughs> um, but sometimes it might make sense maybe to do it prior to the beginning of the year so that if we're budgeting for things, um, and then people will know, so it's not at the last minute. Mm -hmm. So that's one of those things, let's discuss all the, you know, because we have insurance that we're gonna have to, um, so that's one of those things. By the end of the mm -hmm. year, let's just make sure we'll go over the holidays and see okay. if there's anything we wanna add budget. or subtract for them. Do it during the budget discussion. Yeah, just during okay. the budget time. Okay. Um, I have some, that are not warrants. I've got some liquor licenses. Eric's hourly rate for payroll. Yeah. A curb cut that Martin approved. A road maintenance. Is that road permit. maintenance for Brownsville Road? Yes. Okay, we can't approve that one. <laughs> I'm going to need a little engineering report on that before that's approved. Sherilyn's. <laughs> And then I've got something from Washington Electric. It's for permits for two of them for Daryl Elwell. Yeah, he he's signed by the school board. Did I? Second. I've never seen them before. All right. I'm take a look at this before I sign this. Yeah. This, uh, please uh, find close two copies of the town highway permit, uh, Washington Electric, to construct a 7,200 volt electric distri distribution line on the town highway known as Hathaway Road. Just want to look in to see what we got there, just to make sure it's working alongside the road type of thing, or yeah, I don't know, taking I into it. Yeah, let's. That's what I'm looking for. I'll have Martin take a look at it and make sure he's okay with it. And see what that is. That's, this is all together here at this one thing. And then I sent you guys an email about Farm Road. Um, with the sign? Yeah, GPS thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm fine with it, but um, people don't, they're not going to read a sign and stop there anyways either. I mean, Look what they've done at, Maybe you know, 108, they put in chicanes and cars still go through it. They put a sign up, just said, don't go. Um, but, well, I think it's helped like with the bridge, people are seeing the sign not to drive over the mountain road to the covered bridges. Oh, I don't know if they've had any more, any more incidences since that sign's gone up. Like so just, um, what, no, no through way or something? Is that what we're looking for? I don't know, what, what can we put? Don't be an idiot and drive down this road. <laughs> that would encourage way too many people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've actually seen one somewhere in Vermont. It says that your GPS is incorrect. Do not take this route. And that's what it's doing, essentially, is taking them. Yeah, no, there is. I have seen that somewhere, too. Um, hmm. But even in the winter, it takes them down. Well, I mean, no, it doesn't make any difference, right? And that road, they can't get through anymore, right? But they can, but... Uh, it's pretty sketchy. Right. No, you, you need a four-wheel. Yeah, it's sketchy. <coughs> so, 
see what you come up with for sign Sasha out there that's um, Whatever. I don't know what you could put you know, like. And there's no way to get the GPS to do correct it or something, right? I don't think so. That seems yeah. ridiculous, isn't well, it? Well, they did it. They were trying to do that with the notch, and it's away, yeah. people still. They still get it. Yeah. Hmm. You said to remind you about the chickens? Oh, the chickens, yes, thank you. Um, so I had a call from um, um, Howard. Howard, thank you. <laughs> Just talk to him. Uh, the house here, it's elevated, and he has his chicken coop, which is usually out in the fields, out back with, I don't know, out back anyways, and, and his animals are getting taken by the, um, the fox or something, I don't know, it's it's fish or fishers or mm -hmm. things like that because of the fall. So he usually brings it next to his house, but because his house is elevated, doing a lot of work. He just wanted to park it and as you go when you go out you can see it's it's on our property a little bit of the town property. And I was like, you know, as long as there's an omelet for everyone at some point, what we're good with that, right? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I don't think there's too much of a problem. Eggs. Yeah, like what I'm saying. You know, help us out. No. And no, it seems good, yeah. I can't believe how high up in the air that thing is, but wow. Isn't that something? It's yeah. really something. Yeah, I think it's it's not going to be that high. You do. Oh no no no! It's supposed to be <laughs> yeah. ten feet or right. something. I know, but it's amazing they have to lift it that high to do. No, because when it was up before, I thought that was like. The I thought that was it. The, the next thing. It's with a concrete machine, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably. That's that is amazing though to have that up like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. And they'll uh, they'll do a nice job with it. So they'll yeah, try, it's try like to Jack and Lois' house, you know, the same down by yeah. the mill. And they're gonna have you know a drive-in garage, and it'll be faced and it'll be landscaping, landscaped and, landscaped and yeah. such. So, um, and you know, they'll, plus with doing that and spending you know, you know, probably upwards of about a half a million dollars for a project like that, I'm not gonna have to worry about the village flooding again. Right. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Isn't that how that works? That'll stop it. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, you finally did something, so it's not going to need it. So it's all we needed to have done. So we'll thank him for that. Um, um, so the chickens are okay. Yes. I thought they might be. Yeah. Uh, Guy, Guy Martin. Guy Martin. He called uh, prior to the last meeting and it just kind of got scrunched in. Um, he wants to have an update. I mean, the, they can, he can go on that trail anytime he wants. I mean, it's, it's a town trail. He can go on it. We don't, at this point, have time to go out and cut it out. We just don't. I mean, you know, next summer we can get to it. We will. Um, okay. But, you know, the town, it's a town trail. It's, it is what it is. I mean, go ahead, you had a comment? We don't do any maintenance right. on town trail. Exactly. Legal trails. The only thing we were going to do at some point um, is we were going to cut so that it mark, or it is marked, but we were just going to cut, have it cut so that we, you know, the three rods or two rods, but that's just not a priority. Um, no, with no. everything else we no, got going, no. we just don't have the time. So it's, you can go use it any way you want. Okay. And then the last thing I have is this Charles O'Davis. Yes, so we will, at the end of the meeting, need to go into Charles O'Davis or go into executive session to discuss a Charles O'Davis request. Um, so don't make sure I don't forget that, but please. Okay. I marked it down on my agenda, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> um, Kelly, what do you have for us? Man? Who's the contact for FEMA buyouts? Oh my God, it's Cheryl. Okay, because I got a message from someone asking about the process for FEMA buyouts and said that I was listed on it. And I was like, I have no idea, but I basically told her to call the office. So, yeah. And I didn't hear anything more about it. So, no, Sherilyn would be, uh, or you could contact if they had questions, you know, Sasha or Sherilyn. But, yeah, that's what she's I been hear. dealing with all that. Um, well, she's, go ahead. No, I did. I didn't yeah. need to answer. Um, she, she did tell me today, I asked her about the, the, the buyouts, or yesterday, or Friday, I guess today's Monday, Friday. Um, and so the state is inspecting the properties 
um, for bats right now. I guess there's endangered bats over in that area. Um, so they want to, they're going in all the uh, attics to make sure mm -hmm. there are no bats, um, which I don't know. So mm -hmm. hopefully they don't have bats or otherwise their houses will have to stay. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So. But didn't she, Sherilyn, I thought the email that we got, I don't know, today or the end of the last week, <coughs> I, I, unless it was, I was reading and it was more about the mitigation than the, it was, seemed like the buyouts are, are, are on hold too. It was, no, it was that wild. was what you were reading. That was the, um, like, the money for, actually it was 2023 20, money oh. that, is for like elevation changes and things like that, the mitigation changes. Because okay. um, what they originally, a month or so ago, they had sent us um, an email stating that money was available. It was 750000 and we had the people that were looking for, I think there were five people that are doing elevation changes or things. And so they had asked us or said, you know what, it's your responsibility. You decide how you want to split this money up which I didn't like that decision at all because yeah. and then, you know, all right, you get this money. Do that, and right. and uh, then, so the email you saw was that being rescinded and stating that, that they weren't doing that, they were clawing that money back um, and it wasn't available for this process, but these people are still in the process to, um, to get some help. So we are still slowly but surely going ahead with the buyouts. Yes. Over on that the section, yep. that was four or five homes there. And so Carol, uh, our zoning administrator, administrator, is reaching out because she's working with the planning commission um, on the town plan. You know, what do we possibly want to do with that property when it becomes, you know, you know obviously it can't be anything built on it. It'll be, whether it's recreation, I don't know what it'll be, you know, we're just open land, but. Um, Make sure they know who their lien holder is. Yeah, all just that too stuff. Bad. I wonder where the folks that live there, where they're gonna go, there's no place to go, you know? Yeah, no, I think there's, those are very good questions, and it's, for a lot of reasons, it's not yeah. good for us, you know, we don't want to see yeah, we have nowhere right. to go, and then we also have, uh, you know, a hit to our uh, tax base. The tax base. And, you know, that's a discussion we've had or I've had with politicians, and I don't know where it's going, but, um, you know, if people is going to do that, there needs to be, I would think there should be some reciprocity or something for the uh, loss of that revenue there. It's the same when the state buys property, too. Because when the state buys property, they don't pay taxes on it, so that money comes off your grant list as well. Mm -hmm. All right, Callie, anything else or more? No, that was it. Don Wexler. So, um, over in Gallagher Acres, I had a gentleman who lives there email me. His name is Brian Cook. And he was wondering if there was anything the select board could do to help with excessive speeds in the neighborhood there. Um, and some of the correspondence that I had with him, I asked him if there was, there is one speed limit sign as you enter, with a typical 35. <clears throat> and um, it's mainly a lot of uh, young people or delivery trucks and working trucks. I asked him if, the, if any of the uh, residents had any of those please drive yep. slow signs. And he didn't know of any at this point. And I said, you know, we bring it up at the board. I'm not sure what we can do, but um, well, maybe we you know, could just as there's a lot of kids and he's concerned about, you know, the two things. speeds. We have the speed sign. We could probably. Oh, the radar it. thing we could put that. That might help because that's, that's just a good an idea. awareness. And yeah. then. Sasha, could you ask the sheriff to spend some time in Gallagher Acres? Yep. Please. Oh, great. That would be good. I'm sure they would appreciate that. And then our, another piece of Gallagher Acres, I'm, I just, um, I'm wondering what the next steps with the sidewalk project would be. And maybe that's a question for Ray, only because it's kind of tied in with this sidewalk project. Wasn't there was a, we had a discussion with Chris Hunt that, 
since this funding for this was going to be need more. Right. That I I can't remember exactly how it all shakes out, but yeah, I um, think there was an opportunity probably we could, uh, was missed for that over there for this fall. Yeah. Um, but I think that's a question that we need to circle back with Cheryl Lynn and probably Chris Hunt. Yeah. And find okay. out where we. I think they just barely. I'm going to say in the last couple of weeks. What held it up again was the post office um, over here because I guess Bill thought that actually he had say in exactly the post office that has um, what goes on there. Huh. Uh, Forty. Uh, he owns the building, but the lease they signed. Um, oh, and they have control of rights to everything. So, um, so we had to get the post office involved, and there's no hiccups there. It was just time, time, time everyone. Yeah. And plus, we had the wastewater we were waiting to in the wastewater. So we got that kind of taken care of. So <clears> that's yeah. Let's sort of back with that and find out the yeah. best best opportunity to start on on that there because we've got the we've got the. Scoping study that you need is done, and we have an estimate. And so right. I'll circle back with Chris and, and Cheryl. So yeah, start with Cheryl. In. Okay. Um, she'll probably and she'll direct you with, with Chris, but it should probably be a kind of a group discussion there. Mm -hmm. um, and just one thought, I mean, about Frank Piazza, or if any, we've heard anything more. And my other question would be, will the at least because I assume the state is still fining them. But will we get reimbursed from the state for our town expenses for our legal fees? I mean, do we get anything? You know, I'll reach out to Ron, and I'll even see if Ron can somehow even maybe attend the next meeting um, and get updates from him because he, there were some deadlines that he had with me on that that I don't. He hasn't met, but I do know he had some things come up, so yeah. I'm not pressing on that. But just so that we can try to figure out what's what is happening there, what the next step is, because it has been lingering. Um, okay. You know, you hear lots of rumors. There were um, real estate people in looking at the deeds, uh, saying that the house here is going up for sale. So, um, the ward house or, or uh, no, 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 the, the, uh, the one on the Hurdle Road building, building here. The oh, one the that, apartment. The one that we're oh, going to sell that one. Okay. Well, there. Uh, that's again. That's. More hearsay than anything, but they were in here, I guess. Yeah, right? and you know that. I would imagine. He did come in and pay his taxes, though. He did. Frank did. With the He's using a walker. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Is he living over here? I don't think so. He's on an assistant living, I think, in Champlain Valley somewhere. Oh, well, that's good that he was able to. He was coherent. He knew who I was. He remembered me and he was poking me on. Joking around like he always did. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, maybe so. Ron could just come in and give us an update or something. Yeah, that would be, I'll see what he thinks, or if there's anything that he can tell us or not, or you yeah. know, possibly he could reach out to. Um, he could even his zoom lawyer. in for five minutes. Yeah, and, and, but he could reach out to um, uh, his lawyer to find out. Maybe he has some information there, so we can. Then a, a really, um, this is a very exciting item. Um, the town garage bathrooms. Yes. <laughs> so I did reach out to someone, um, a posting that I saw on Front Porch Forum. And then, I mean, mine's a little busy. We kind of circled it back to him. But um, I think we should try to find someone to do it, you know, even if it's once a week or, yeah, you know, once a week or something. And apparently the person who cleans uh, the town office isn't interested. And Nicole can't do it. Did that person you know. stop? Who? Did that person that go back to you in the email? No, no. We, I mean, because we wrote, you, you, I circled you into that email and we said we were, I don't think she knew who Martin was, but I, there hasn't been any commu communication to uh, her. And I haven't heard from Martin, uh, but I can okay, ask him. But her rate was $35 an hour. So you got to figure she's going to charge for an hour anyways to come out and clean it. Cheap. What? It's cheap. Oh, I, I don't, I'm just throwing it up. That's what, what she quoted us. This was, like I said, just something I read in the Montpelier Front Porch Forum. But I think it should be something that we should do and then have in the budget or something. You know, budget it for, you know. Um, 
Callie's looking at me because Sean had to put up with it for all those years. But, you know, when I did some work down there when they were crazed during the summer, I helped clean, do some cleaning there. But I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't doing the bathroom. Oh, the bathroom is not. So I just think, it would, you know, it's, it, it's, it shouldn't be their thing to do, the, you know. Well, I don't know. It's their bathroom. They use it. They should keep it clean. Well, and I, I actually, I talked, well, like we talked the other day with them, and they should put it on a schedule. And Mar it was Rodney that even said they used to, he used to keep the schedule to it. Um, and I think maybe just with all the other stuff that's happened and what they're having, you know, all the other, I don't know. I just thought it would be a nice, a nice benefit to have their bathroom clean once a week. You know, I think we can think about it. We'll, we'll talk to Martin, see what he thinks the schedule yeah. would be and, you know, see if the lady's still interested or, or not. And then we can decide. Yeah, just, I mean, it's not, I'm not one way or another, but I think, you know, they just, clean it, do a good, solid cleaning on it, and then take care of it. I mean, yeah, once a week. Yeah, follow up once a week, you know what? Go in there, you make a mess, clean out. You know, we're all adults here. I mean, it's, this shouldn't be here. You know, for lack of, uh, I'm not gonna say it, but I'm just saying, <laughs> you know. Okay, all right, well, we'll um, Our new employee and his wife used to go in there and just do it voluntarily. Yeah, so I mean, you've got one guy that'll do it anyways at least once a week, month. So um, again, we don't need to get bogged down with it. Yeah, we can move on. So my next thing I was going to remind everybody, and maybe we can figure out how we want to really get this on the radar, is in January we wanted to have uh, get all the committees together to review the open me open meeting law, and I also thought maybe that would be an opportunity to sort of also segue have it as a community service fair. Maybe we could get other people, townspeople interested. You know, it could be, I don't know if we would want to combine both or keep the community service fair separate and just maybe at this point in October and November reach out. Maybe I could work with Sasha. We could send an email out to all the different committees and say on such and such a day, you know, we, we're going to meet at the town hall. We can do it there. Maybe we do it here. I don't know. A select board meeting. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think I know some of the communities. I know, like the rec committee has um, looked into it, and they know what they have to do. Okay. Um, and there hasn't been. I think we just need to send out the few changes that there are out there, making sure that there's a Zoom available for them. They um, will need that. I think the uh, they will at the beginning of the year, even if they're advisory committees, they will need that. Um, so does that mean that the rec committee is going to need to be doing that? Right. Um, All committees, right? That email made it sound like he thinks that they're exempt. Yeah. Um, I mean, we, I just was thinking, or maybe we just invite the the chairs. chairs, and we have someone from VLCT here, and, and we just get a sort of a nuts and bolts of what everybody needs to do. Yeah. You know? VLCT. What? That's a thought, VLCT. Yeah, so if you want to look into that, Sasha, yeah. when you could set that up, and then uh, I'm fine with that. I think it's probably a good idea. Um, and then I'll keep thinking about how we can do a community service fair at some point. No, I, Don, and I agree with you. I mean, we've been talking about yeah, that for, for a year. Three years, and and it's, too. But it's always, what happens is we've had two floods that come in the I middle see. of when we're having those things. So, so I'll, I'll do some brainstorming about it. Maybe we can figure out a way to do it this winter yeah. or something. Um, did it, uh, on Lover's Lane, there was a gentleman who came in, Steve Gilman, and, you know, did, um, has that been followed up with? Is he's he's good? Ray went to see him, I guess, or something. Or, yeah, Ray yeah. was going out there. And we, I haven't yeah. heard anything, so I'm assuming I haven't had any up. Pardon me. The guys have been working out there too. Right. And then just one other thought is um, just a, no decision necessary tonight. But I'm just wondering between the Gallagher Acres area where. We got the state to at least drop the speed to 35 and where there might be a sidewalk eventually. 
and here in town. I noticed traveling to Maine once this summer that I know you can't, I noticed that some small towns there, I, I mean, because I know the state has a regulation about whether you can make drop the speed and Waterbury have those no, no engine brake signs. Right, yeah. But I saw like a whole different set of signs. I saw, well, th these were three. Like one was, this is town, please slow down. Or then there was another one that the town had, quiet zone. And then one other town that I drove through said had, please no engine brakes. So I'm just wondering if that's something that we could do for our, those two parts of our community that I, you know, I don't, I think that that doesn't violate any state regulations or I, I think that, I don't know that. I like that first one. This is town, please slow down. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's something we could do someday. So I found your sign um, <laughs> stuff. We'll see what's out there and what. Oh yeah, when well, we're working on the Farnham sign, right? Yep. Oh, okay. It's not just in town. People. Oh yeah. People have been flying oh, by flying. my house. I know. I know. And yeah. I feel like I've just noticed it more in the last. I don't know. Six months. How fast people are really going? Really driving. I know. Yeah. Yes, we can. We noticed it. The same thing. What? Out on 100B. Oh, oh it just seems like it was a really. Well, we, been, we met with. Yeah. We met with the state. Uh, in a preliminary meeting, not a hearing yet, on the, what the transportation. I have to get our little transportation group back together. You know, we lost a member with John. And Joyce, that was a busy summer, but we're trying to regroup. And, um, and then actually, because the meeting we had with, with Trans, the beginning of the summer, who, and reviewed that letter that we had all the signatures and such for lowering speeds. And um, it, didn't, it, it didn't go that well. I mean, oh, we could still have the hearing. We could still request the hearing, which we might. But they were just, you know, they were just going with, you know, the, the wonderful world of cars, basically, and not considering about well, lowering speeds. But they did say they would do some other signage about sharing the road or bicycle, you know, there'll be bicycle, you know, for 100B, but, you know, to get them to think about slowing the speed sooner into the village and over by the Maynard side as well, um, they thought it should just stay the status quo, you know. But, and we are also working on trying to figure out how we can slow lower speeds on dirt roads. But the statutes, I gotta, it's strange how the new statute reads about changing it. I'll bring it at the next meeting. Well, I think I'm like, I'm in kind of a vortex anyway, because it's a straight shot from the top and the bottom. I know. From the top all the way to Herring Brook, it's a straight shot. And it's downhill if you're coming down, and it's wide open if you're coming up. So people just... Good opportunity to test your, your engine horsepower, right? Exactly. While we're on that... She side, rocks screws. Um, I've yeah. had to contact the sheriff to get more um, patrols on Jones Brook. But he can't really give any tickets because there's not enough speed limit signs. So we, do, we need to get more speed limit signs out there with less distance in between them so that we can get tickets written. Okay, so why don't we... Um, Are they spaced okay though, given it's two different towns? Enough. Right, that's the problem too on Jones Brook, but like on Mountain Road and there's other places that right, just need more it. speed limit signs. So look at our um, sign budget, what we have. Let's, we're towards the end of the year, let's kind of maximize yeah. that towards, we got the sperm sign. But, but was maybe like, before we buy, we, we could see if we could make them 30 instead of 35. I, and that's what the, the statute, I thought the state was allowing towns to change we just do what we want, right? Yeah, that we could do it, you know. And so maybe in some spots, when we buy new speed limit signs, we could change some speed limits to 30. 30 and 35. Yeah. 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 Like we were going to change the one on Lover's Lane because of all, you know, 35 is like you're taking your life in your hands if you're trying to drive 35 on that road. Let's well, maybe we let a little bit of, you know, hey, that's what happens. Oh, <laughs> you, know, you know, it's uh, anyways, okay. 
But I will look that up, the statute about the speeds. Don, remember earlier this summer when I was going to that meeting with the, the governor stuff in yeah. Berlin? How did that go with you? I'll tell everyone what it was. Well, it was a, a meeting about public safety. Right. It had the sheriff, a, lo, a, a couple of, uh, it had the head of the uh, state police, you know, the commander of the state police, the governor, a couple of his assistants, the police from Montpelier, Berlin, and Barry, because, you know, it was in yep. there. They were going all around the state. There was more town was represented. I think there was maybe one other, two other select board members there. And mainly what they, the main discussion really was, was drug use, the, the, the overdoses, the drug use, the, the problems with, that's being created because of the drug use, the homelessness and, you know, that, you know, what, what that's been leading to or not, you know, yeah. what to do about that. And, all, and then based it, tied into some of that was just some of the violence that's going down in some of the communities related back to, you know, drugs. So um, it wasn't like they came out with any firm answer. They were, there was some finger pointing for sure. Really? Um, you know, like, you know, is it the, do we need more laws? It's the legislature that, that we're over there or the courts, and the courts are backed up, and we don't have enough judges, and, you know, or we can't process the people, or we put them in jail, we don't, or we don't put them in jail, or that we don't keep them in jail long enough, and how do we fund all that, and, you know, there was no concrete Pretty answer. Bad, man. I didn't that's, know that. that's what that was. When I walked out of there, it was just like, Wish your head spin. pretty, you know, it was like, uh, <laughs> depressing, huh? Yeah, it was pretty depressing. I'm sorry to hear that, Don. Yeah. Well, you know, it was just bothersome. Not depressing, but just... No, it's, it's you know, reality. It's just it's like, it's you know, like, oh my. We're very fortunate to... I was going to say, you think we have problems with some of those things? We have problems in Moortown. But, um, yeah, our amount of theft. Yeah. In Berlin. Yeah. No, I know. The, the police got the, your chief, your uh, whatever. Chief, What's it? Yeah. Captain. James. Yeah, he was, he got into a couple of stories, for sure. All right, well, thank you, Don, for attending. Yeah, no, I was, was you know, uh, um, something. Anything else for us, Don? No, but I did get to talk to the governor, though. You really? When, you know, he was yeah. going out in the room shaking, you know, I said, I, I, I actually asked him if he, he, because, um, you guys going to love this. I asked him about uh, Wilmer and Jerry's Oh, problem in front of their house. Yeah. Because he said, I said, do you remember them? And they said they've been in their kitchen. You had coffee with them in his, their kitchen. He goes, and he said, oh, yeah, well, that wasn't when I was governor. That was way back. And I was, well, I know that maybe they have a little memory problem. But, yeah. You know, I said, is there any way you can just talk to your people, you know, in the state highway department or whatever? You know, it's literally, you know, but... Anyways, I managed to ask them. It was, you know, yeah. um, nothing's yeah, I happened. I am so There's surprised. Nothing's happened yet. Yeah, well, they've got that. They've got the one. There's a couple of them that are really bad. Oh. And they had... And they were paving the bridge there. We oh. even tried to get it done while they were fixing Dowsville Bridge, you know. Come on, just put another two yards of... Or the one just at the bottom of the hill. I know. They had a few of them. They were right there. And I did them. send an email recently to, to Michelle Redmond, but... I haven't, you know, got any response. Thanking her for doing the crosswalk, but, um, you know, and asking her again, please, can you do the Maynard's, you know, culvert or whatever that is. Yeah. You know? Anyways. <laughs> That's a thing. Yeah, it was good, though. The governor did remember him, and, you know. So what did he say, Don? Obviously, he didn't, he just, he he didn't said, impress oh, him that know, much. I don't <laughs> know if it was going to be high on his agenda that he remembered even, maybe, you know. Maybe you could send them a note. Maybe you'll yeah, see them out talk to one of those people that were there or something. Yeah. Anyways. All right, that's well, it for me. All right, Donald, thank Sorry, you for your... Thank you for, your well, thank you for your, your input. So we do have some invoices, um, documents. We have the minutes of 9.16 and 10.2 to approve. 
on the motion to approve the minutes of, we'll do them separately, okay. just in case there's any, Problem. any questions on either one of them. Um, approve the minutes of 9-16-2024 as presented. Don, is there a second? I'll on second that, that yep. Yeah. All right, any discussion on this? Seeing none or hearing none, all in favor of what I? Aye. All right, I'll make the motion to approve the minutes from 10-2-2024 as presented. Done. Oh, I'll second that. All right, thank yes. you. Sorry. Anyway, so there's three people. We all need to. I know. I know. I know. Right. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Don, do you want to vote for us, sir? Oh, aye. Yeah. Thank Sorry. you. All right. So <laughs> we do have. I do have some communications. One thing we need. Um, Can I make a motion to? Motion? <laughs> we do need a um, assistant chair. Pardon me. A co-chair. A co-chair, yeah. Um, so, Don, would you move up? Um, I would like to um, nominate or make a motion that Cali Streeter be our co-chair. I um, will second it. Board. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, would I? Aye. Aye. I guess you can vote for right. Yes, you can. All right, so. Congratulations. 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 Pay the check just went up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get a raise. Oh, you're gonna get a raise. Oh, you didn't know that. That was the secret oh, that we kept. Yeah, that's the other one. Is that right? Yeah. Tax is taken out. Tax. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Cool. <coughs> um, thanks, thanks on that. So, is there any other, um, stuff for any other stuff for old business that we have? No. Okay, any uh, new business? Let's see none, all right, so why don't we, um, we'll start signing this, but I make a motion that we go into executive session to discuss, um, uh, there was a Charles O. Davis request. So Sasha, how would that go under, what, I'm not sure what number that is, but. Executive sessions, it is, Oh, well, probably. Uh, this is what we need, John. Yeah, trying to just he has those things off by heart. It's not a disciplinary action. No. Confidential. Yeah, something like that. We'll just figure it out. But anyways, that's what it's going under in Vermont. One of the executive session statutes. It's probably one B. I think or not one A. So you know. But we'll uh, get that so it's put in min minutes legally. Um, that's what we're going to do. Is there a second? Second. All in favor, vote aye. 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 All right. Um, so we'll have to close down the meeting here, folks. And we're not going to.